I don't have my name plate. I don't know who I am. <laughs> Ed Johan. I'm 97 years old. Uh, still going strong. As a kid, I had a was a kind of a rough going. We had a, a not too good a time when I was a kid. But anyway, I got to be a teenager, and I wanted to wanted to be a independent and. A, but my dad used to give my brothers and I each a nickel and we could go Saturday and see the matinee. And I thought, well, maybe I'll go into the army and uh, I could make a few dollars and uh, it'd be one less mouth to feed at home. We went to this movie this Saturday and there was two sailor buddies in the movie. I forget the name and I forget the name of the movie, but anyway, they were doing a lot of singing and dancing. And they had a lot of girls around them all the time. I thought, well, I can do that. So I didn't go in the Army. I, I went in the Navy. <laughs> I wanted to be with those two guys. A line of guys in San, in San Francisco at the rec recruiter's office. And we're, we're stepped up on this little ledge deal there, and a the guy put the tape around a chest. And I, I guess there's a minimum you have to be able to expand your chest. Well, I didn't even have a chest. And the guy kept saying, Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. And the guy with the clipboard, he said some numbers to him because I was holding up the whole line and get off the. <laughs> Got me off the thing so they could keep moving the guys. And anyway, I got in, but I was, I'm sure it was, I wasn't legal. <laughs> Every day we were out on a, what you call the grinder, and we had to issue these uh, rifles, and we did an exercise with the rifles. We put them out, hold them out in front and overhead, and to the music the band played da 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 then when that got done our basic was over and we're gonna go on a ship and at that time we had a duffel bag and you had your mattress and hammock and blankets were tied on over the duffel bag and I couldn't lift mine even. And so everybody's down on the bus and I'm dragging it along. A friend of mine come back and picked it up and carried it to the bus. We got to the dock. We're all getting off the bus to go to, down to the gangway to get on this ship. I can't, still can't handle this big bundle of a civilian dock worker come come out with a wheelbarrow and he puts it in a wheelbarrow for me and I'm wheeling it down there and the guys on the ship are all late looking over the side and they see this kid coming with a wheelbarrow. I don't know how I got that damn thing up the gangway, uh, and but I got aboard the ship. With seven days going across to get to Hawaii and then I got on to the seaplane tender the right there but i didn't have my tonsils out and they found out anyway because of my tonsils i had to stay there and go to the hospital ship the solace and uh have my tonsils out which i did it was like a big uh, open area but it had bed sheets hanging in, in sections and Nurse took me in and sit me on. There's two stools in there, one for me and one for the doctor. But the nurse took me in and sit me down, give me a shot of something, and put the aprons on me. Uh, and, and this and that, I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs, waiting. And I hear the guy in the sheet next to me going, oh, God, God, God. He's gargling, and they, they just pull his. And the do doctor come and pull in mine. and. 
he has this wire loop and it just puts the, I think he had a, he was late for a, a golf tournament or something. Cause he just, and he slapped me and said, open your mouth. And, uh, yeah, he jerks his tonsils right out. Ah! He just was going from one to the other like that. Uh, fast forward. He was on fast forward. And of course the nurse come in right away and <coughs> dart, I forget know what she did. She daubed my face and this and that and got me up, got me out because they needed another guy in there right away. You know, it was lined up outside when I, when the nurse took me out. I could see a line of guys coming in next. They're next. They wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me just hang around. They they put me into a motor launch, open motor launch, with the motor and uh, the guy and the tillerman in the back. He run the boat. He had the tiller and he had the bell. And I was down where the motor was, and he rang the bell twice. I put it in no clutch. They just pushed it into gear. You ring the bell once, I put it in neutral. He rang it three times, I put it in reverse. Well, a kid could do it. Yeah, a kid was doing it. And uh, that, that was it. I was down down there where the motor was and this lever that I would do when he rang the bell and told me what to do. Then, of course, there was a guy up at the bow that whenever we pulled up to the dock or other ships, he would throw him a line. We were just going to be like a taxi. We're going to take guys to other ships where they had relatives or friends they wanted to visit. They were all off-duty guys. But a lot of them wanted to go over to the Ford Island where there's a big PX there. You could get stuff you'd never get on a ship. Mm -hmm.